Today, let's understand the concept of virtual threads in Java. By default, Java runs code on a single thread known as main thread, executing code sequentially. But what if you need speed or you want to run tasks in parallel? For this, Java supports multi-threading, letting you create multiple threads which run in parallel. This can be done by either extending thread class or by implementing runnable interface or the easiest and the preferred way is by using executor framework. But these threads are platform threads, which means we can't have unlimited threads. Every platform thread maps to an OS thread, which is heavy and hence its size depends on infrastructure. But since Java 21, we have virtual threads, a part of Project Loom. These threads are lightweight, JVM managed and not tightly coupled with OS threads. So theoretically, we can have unlimited virtual threads. We can make a virtual thread by saying thread dot of virtual dot start or by executors dot new virtual thread per task executor. Now when virtual threads are in runnable state, they temporarily use an OS thread for some time known as carrier. When they are blocked by some IO operation, they release OS thread for other virtual threads. This behavior makes them non-blocking at the OS level during IO operations. This means that virtual threads don't give you extra speed as compared to platform threads. They just give you more scalability. Remember that virtual threads are not suitable for CPU bound tasks like heavy computation or complex algorithms, but they are highly effective for IO bound workloads like web servers, API gateways or applications that frequently perform blocking IO operations such as database queries or file access. This also means that you don't need to learn virtual threads from scratch if you know multi-threading. You just need to know about methods to create them and decide when to use them. Do like the video if you find it helpful. Thanks.